Wendy, or is it? But I'm a senior in Magnet. Did you miss Fonseca or Isaac? Mm, no. What about Adrian? But it doesn't matter now. I'm here. And for the following few mountains, you'll see more girls being host. For now, let's get started. Polls and fun facts will be available next week. They are lagging it this week. Now on to variety. September 11th was a tragedy that no one expected. And so this day, we still honor the people who lost their lives. The variety team went out. The Variety team went out and got us more information about 9-11 from students and teachers. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Melanie. I'm part of the Variety segment. For this week's topic, we'll be talking about September 11, 2001 also known as 9-11 and its impact on people. Throughout this video, we'll be honoring the people that passed due to this tragic event. Hi, I'm Miss Ikehideyashi, in the Magnet Art Teacher. Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Reyes. I am a teacher here at Fremont High School. Hi, I'm Daniela Diaz. I'm a senior in Magnet. 9-11 was a tragic incident that happened September 11 of 2001. Um, it, caught, it was planes flying into the Twin Towers and it caused many people's deaths. 9-11 affected me um, in the way that now we travel. Um, when we travel by air, uh, there's a lot more security than there was prior to September 11th. Um, you know, there's a new technology that scans us uh, to make sure that we don't have any, uh, any potential weapons that can put um, you know, our, our flights in danger. I was getting ready to come to Fremont to come to work and I woke up um, and the ra on the radio it said there's been a plane crash in the tower. So I turned the TV on and I saw the second plane crash into the second tower. During 9-11, uh, 2001, I was at home. I was on vacation. Uh, I think I was in ninth or 10th grade. I think it's really important for us to remember everyone that perished in 9-11. And I also think it's really important for us to study it so that we can learn how to get along and fix relationships with different countries. 9-11 came to symbolize now the terrorist attacks on our nation, um, an attack on our freedom, uh, an attack on our uh, world interest and our uh, world influence. And it became a, we became a target of uh, terrorist organizations who are not happy with how America uh, handles itself. President Bush was in a kindergarten class, and so he had to be pulled out of the class. So that was like immediately what happened. Um, they did a report about it. Um, they tried to figure out who was responsible for it. My name is Fonseca, and it is very important to remember what happened in 9-11 when 2,977 innocent people died due to the terrorist attacks. As Ms. Hoback said, let's remember them for the joy instead of the devastating tragedies that happened. Thank you for watching. LSJ students, are you interested in joining LSJ leadership but were always too scared to get the information you needed? Well, our club's team went and interviewed LSJ leadership. Hit it. My name is Ms. Manugian. So LSJ leadership, um, basically helps plan LSJ events, pep rallies, um, after school activities that just happen to fall on LSJ. They're basically a planning committee for LSJ. LSJ is the School of Law and Social Justice. LSJ leadership is open to all LSJ students grades 9 through 12. So they can come see me in room 155, um, basically any lunch period, but the meetings are Wednesdays at lunch. In the past, we did we do the lunchtime events. We take turns with ASB um, and the different SLCs. Last year, we had our first annual um, LSJ versus Magnet lunchtime event. Um, this Sunday, September 11th, we're going to have a commemorative um, event out in the quad, and that's open to all, all Fremont community. I guess LSJ leadership they plan to um, make the school and the activities, uh, create activities that students want to participate in so that they actually have fun during their school years and not just study, study, study. Seniors, 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 the following is all for you. Time will pass fast and you want to be known as someone who participates in school activities. Don't forget, next week is Spirit Week. Monday is Twin Day, Tuesday is Bring a Plushy Backpack or a Stuffed Animal, Wednesday is Dress as Opposite Gender, Thursday is Decades Day, and my favorite, Friday Senior Takeover Day. 
Do you like dancing and showing school spirit? Well, Spala is here to talk to our Fremont cheerleaders and cheer coach to show you why you should join cheer. Hi, my name is Antasia May, and this is Spotlight. Today, we're going to be talking about cheerleading for the segment. Hi, my name is Antasia Yvonne May, and I'm a cheerleader at Fremont. I started cheerleading because, like, um, I wanted to keep up with my flexibility and learn new gymnastics moves. So I felt like this was the opportunity because, like, I, like, looking for, like, spots to learn new things is, like, far far away from your home, so I felt like this was the closest to me. I learned new techniques I didn't even know I could learn. Like, you know, the jumping, the splits, I didn't know I could do that. Well, I first found it out by searching up, like, Fremont, and I looked at the activities, like, you know, volleyball and stuff, and truly and was, like, on that list, so. I don't know, because, like, my future, I want to become something else, but I tend to, like, um, probably do it in college. If, if you can do cheerleading in college, I'll probably do that. Hi, my name is Simone Moore. I'm a cheerleader for Fremont. I started cheerleading because I used to be a cheerleader back in them days. But I was too old for that, I feel like. And I've been wanting to cheer since I found out cheer wasn't as cool. So, so. I learned how to jump and kick, and it was awesome. I first found out cheerleading by my mom and Jemiah. She's a girl that I talk a lot. Because we're going to different games and schools like that, and I've been seeing a lot of cheerleading, things like that, but it's like different from cheerleading. It's like, yeah. So, yeah. But I like cheerleading because it's fun. I meet new people, and yeah. And I had to be bored all the time, so what can do? Hi, I'm Ms. Whitaker. I'm the 2023 cheerleading coach. I started cheerleading because I was a cheerleader in high school, and I liked it. I learned hard work, dedication, loyalty, and to be a team player. In high school, I was the water girl, and I would see the cheerleaders on the side, and I kind of picked up the cheers, and then I started cheering. It's time for sports, sports, sports. Sports, sports, sports. It's the producer. Hit it. Sports, sports, sports. Hello, my name is Humana, and today I am going to be talking about Fremont sports. Fremont Sports is having a tough season this year. Volleyball has lost their last two games, one against King Drew and the other against Delhi Port. Fremont Football has also lost their last game against Southeast High School, but we are hoping to make a good comeback later in the season. One of our hopes is the wrestling team, so we sent our sports team to interview the wrestling coaches about this upcoming season. Hello, my name is Jonathan. Today we'll be interviewing Coach Alvarenga and Coach Cruz. I'm, hi, I'm Mr. Cruz. I'm also known as Coach Cruz. I'm a high school teacher and I'm also the high school um, wrestling coach along with Coach Alvarenga. I'm Mr. Alvarenga. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been teaching here at Fremont for about 11 years now and I've been coaching here at Fremont for about 11 years now. Uh, now. Uh, I grew up in the city of Bell. What makes you me a wrestling coach? Well, I think a good wrestling coach would probably be just you know dedicated, someone that knows how to knows how to motivate the students and um, bring out the best of uh, all the athletes. Um, that would make a good wrestling coach. I think patience and time. Right, you need a lot of time, free weekends and free afternoons. Uh, me personally, as a wrestling coach, I'm looking for. Uh, determination, right? I, I really don't care how much background knowledge about wrestling you have, how much athletic ability you have. I just want to know that you want to work on it so that you have the personal determination to improve every day, right? So your, your biggest competition is always yourself. So are you willing to challenge yourself? Kind of students with, um, who are motivated and eager to learn um, the sport and, um, and just, you know, um, anybody that wants to try a, a sport that's, you know, very very rewarding at the end. It's it's very it's fun, but it's very rewarding once you start getting very victorious. How do I get the students motivated? Um, usually, students just get self motivated. Once I introduce the sport, it, they get really motivated. They start seeing the outcomes, what can happen, and so on. 
you have to kind of know each wrestler. You have to know the individual athlete and different people get motivated in different ways. Some, some people like a big speech. Some people just want to be left alone. So it's getting to know your athletes and getting to know what motivates them individually. What are the basics of wrestling? Uh, good stance, stance and movement. This is a Vermontian. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and hit the notification button below for every time we post a new video. And with that, we'll see you next week with more entertaining reports about our school. Have a nice day. And now this. Mm -hmm.